Hey everyone, my name is Victoria and this is my trip video from San Antonio, Texas, which is my hometown, to Incheon, Korea, which is where I go to school now. I'm actually in my quarantine dorm right now, it's probably about day 7 or 8, and I'm really bad at editing and putting together a video, but I had some help, so um, I will try to be getting more videos out soon. Since it's my second semester, I should have put more out last semester, but um, I'm starting now and I hope you get to follow me along on um, my life in Korea. So I just want to say thank you. I hope you enjoy watching and please excuse the way that I look during the video because um, 16 hours of a trip and flight can, you know, really take a toll on a person. Uh, I really appreciate it and let's get to it. <laughs> Hi everyone, so this is me leaving for my trip from my house at about 4 a.m. We got to the airport and measured my bag. It was overweight, of course, which I'm not surprised, but it's okay. Um, I'm saying goodbye to Melanie here, and some goodbyes this time were especially hard, but I'm still really excited to get back to Korea because it is so fun. I'm walking to my terminal here from the San Antonio airport in order to depart for my connecting flight in Detroit and then go to Incheon, South Korea. My school is George Mason University, Korea. I'm actually a direct student, which means that I'm there for three years and then I go to Fairfax or the one in Virginia for um, another year. I was actually su very surprised as to how small this plane was because there were only two rows across and like barely any people but it was still really nice because of course there was enough social distancing and i didn't have to sit any next to anybody i was actually supposed to leave about two days earlier than i did because the all the airports require a pcr test to be taken um for covid and those take about three to five days to receive results and the test needed to be taken 72 hours before you fly so it was a really difficult situation but it worked out also, side note, look at all this snow. Detroit is already so different from San Antonio, if only because of the snow. But when I arrived, I had to transfer gates. Uh, so I went through this lighted tunnel that was super cool in order to um, find my other gate. Now, what the airport needed was a negative PCR test, which does not correlate to a rapid COVID test. So if you uh, came to the airport presenting a uh, rapid COVID test, they would not be able to take it. They would have to send you away. It was really difficult because I ended up having to delay my flight two days in order to wait for my results to come in. This is me walking just past the shops in the airport, I actually got myself some Reese's Pieces because I was hungry. While sitting at the gate, they gave us a couple papers that we had to fill out that had some of our information on it. I think one was a customs paper and another one was probably just more information that had to do with quarantining and entering a different country. This plane was a lot more spacious and I'm always happy to sit by myself because I will be able to sleep better and I sleep a lot on these trips. This flight lasted about 12 hours, which I enjoy very much because I love flying. And the everyone on the plane enforced COVID safety pretty well, I would say. For dinner, I chose ravioli with um, vegetables on the side and cookie dough ice cream. And I ate this while I was watching Knives Out, which I've actually seen before, but I thought it was a really good movie, so I decided to watch it again. I slept quite a lot on the plane, of course, and I also ended up watching this show that I had downloaded from Netflix before I got on the plane. And then for breakfast, we had this English muffin sandwich, some yogurt, and some fruit. And look how beautiful this view is! This is coming into Incheon, so we we're right about at the edge of the coast. Now I had done this last time, but immigration and COVID regulations are really scary to me, so I was a little bit nervous coming off the plane, but 
Um, ultimately, I knew I would be okay. So there were a lot of stations and documents to fill out when we were there. I didn't want to film any of it because I felt uncomfortable doing so, but it went a lot smoother than last time as far as I could remember. I am maybe because my Korean is a little bit better, but uh, it's still only simple phrases, so I guess that's okay. This is me heading to the Yonsugu Public Health Center, which is where I would get my COVID test for the first day, and then head to my dorm to quarantine for the rest of the week, and then get a second COVID test at the very end of the week. I arrived at the dorm and they had, of course, the basics to give to quarantine, such as the bedding, a pot to heat water for ramen, some snacks and uh, safety COVID stuff. Uh, there were crumbs all over my floor for some reason, which was very upsetting. So this is what the bathroom looks like. It has a shower and a uh, toilet all in one. And then um, this is actually a reverse of what my uh, dorm looked like last year or last semester because the bed and the desk were switched on the opposite side, but this is okay. Um, this is the bed before I made it and in the view I'm just totally obsessed with like thank god I got one with a view or else I probably feel like I would go insane if I was staring at my school building <laughs> the entire 14 days. This screen you can put down so that um, bugs don't fly in, but being on the 27th floor, I feel like that might not have been such a problem. Across the street is the Triple Street Mall, which is mostly where I get all my food or spend a bunch of my free time. This is me just trying to set the temperature to something that wasn't super hot, even though the um, weather in Korea is kind of cold right now, the building is constantly blowing heat, so it's not super fun. I was trying to figure out my Wi-Fi because it wasn't working, but I actually ended up having to move the desk for it, and it was a whole big scenario. But now, this is just me trying to set up my bed, um, and reorganizing all my stuff. I can honestly say that quarantine does not seem as bad as last time because last time I was just hoping that I could get out and go explore and do everything I want and this time I am uh, really taking in the days of relaxation and just doing nothing um, because I know that as soon as I get out I'm gonna have to start school which they're online for the for first few weeks but I am still gonna have to pay attention and do my work. I decided to do a haul of the snacks and uh, safety things that they gave me. So this is the all the ramen that they gave us. It's only three of them, but this is a lot for me because I never even ate the ramen last time. Um, body wash and shampoo for the shower, even a toothbrush, toilet paper. They gave us two and then you can ask for more if you need any. Um, this had a towel in it and some hand sanitizer, band-aids, uh, a plug, which was super useful. Uh, next we had some other drinks, so we had an orange juice drink. This is a very popular coffee that they have that come in, um, vending machines. We had some chopsticks for the ramen. Um, these baby wipes would come in use because I don't have anything to clean with. And this soap is so soft and smells so good. I love it. These snacks, I haven't eaten yet because 
I want to savor them, but they're very, very good, and they're very, very yummy. And these two big two liter bottles of water. Then we have this safety COVID stuff that I got from the health center. This hygiene kit um, came inside of it. They gave me a mask along with a bunch of others, a glove. Sorry, I look so deadpan here. Um, some co uh, cotton swabs to uh, clean up. This is really cool, but they gave us an uh, anti-acid pill and uh, an indigestion pill, um, which is, I would say, very helpful. Some extra band-aids. I kept them all semester, so they're very useful. This thermometer, I love it. I don't know why. It's just like, I feel like it works really well. More hand sanitizer. And then... This is a giant bottle of disinfectant spray. They want us to spray it on our trash and everything else. This is a giant bottle of hand sanitizer, so I definitely have enough for the year. Here are some more masks, the KF94s, which are elite in my opinion, because they have like three layers. This was a kit manual, so I guess just a bunch of instructions for things. I didn't really read it because it's self-explanatory in my opinion. This was probably more explanations, except uh, it was all in Korean, so it didn't really help me. <laughs> And I just kind of put it away. These are the trash bags and they didn't give us enough last year, but I actually brought some with me because I knew they were only gonna give us two, but I was very happy about that. And these are some more thermometers, but that's it. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed that a lot. I will be trying to post more videos as I tell you more about my life in Korea. And I just really thank you for joining me on this uh, trip. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.